Hi, Boog. This is Jennifer Lopez, and this is my life in looks. Well, this is me as a fly girl on In Living Color. This was actually the second or third season. This wasn't the original Fly Girls. This was like the Fly Girls 2.0, if you will. The whole thing about the Fly Girls really was their fashion. I believe Michelle Cole was the costume designer on the show and she was really about giving them kind of a couture look, not totally like hip hop or street. Having an essence of that, but really kind of elevating it and making it more vogue, if you will. This is one of my favorite looks from Selena. This is where we sang that whole bitty bitty bomb bomb montage. Selena had a lot of great looks, but everything was kind of like just a plain bra and the leggings and it would be a, kind of a, always a bejeweled bra. But this one had like, was a little bit more interesting and she would kind of make all her own costumes. I don't know if she made this one, but it was pretty great because now she added like the superwoman cummerbund thing to it and had like the straps on it. And it was a little bit more of a costume actually. Obviously, this is what has become now the famous green Versace dress that I wore, you know, 20 something years ago now. I wore it to the Grammys. It was a dress that other people had worn already. You know, my stylist was like, please don't wear it. Somebody else has worn it. I was like, well, you bought it and it looks the best. So I'm going to wear it. And so I did. And it caused, you know, quite a stir. <laughs> I think it's always been a collaboration with all the stylists that I've worked with. I've worked with Andre Lieberman for many years, and then I've worked with Robin Marielle up until the present, and it's always been a collaboration. I guess every generation needs its iconic kind of Maryland dress, and this is that dress for this generation. Why it became that, it was just a moment, you know, when the wind blew open and I walked out onto the stage and it just kind of happens. Oh. This is a favorite Halloween costume of a lot of people. This is me at the MTV Awards when I won for best rap collaboration. Again, this is one of those things where I had like this big gown and everything. Diddy at the time, who was called Puffy, uh, was like, you need to just wear a, a pair of jeans, white jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> and I was like, what? But I kind of liked it. So I put it on. My stylist gave me this bandana and it was, it was actually a very cool moment. I know it's MTV Awards and I should get like real dressed up, but instead I'm just gonna wear a pair of low rise jeans and a cut off tank top. This is uh, from one of my music videos from I'm Real. This is a funny story because again, one of those moments where the stylist brings all these clothes and then I wanna wear the free juicy sweat shorts that were sent for me from my personal life. So that's what I did. I like baby hairs and big hoops and gold jewelry buns, moñitos, we used to call them, uh, which was very kind of a Puerto Rican thing to do is like moms used to put bun and the baby hairs and the hoops and the name plates and all that. And all that became kind of signature part of my style. I always kept that kind of urban streetwear thing with Timberlands and with Adidas sneakers. And I always stick with those things because it just feels like me. It feels like the Bronx. It feels like Lil Jenny. This is a This Is Me Then album cover. Again, kind of classic style for me. It's like a normal top and a little pair of shorts and throw a beanie on because I love it. It's like, I always kind of did things that felt good to me. And then we designed around that. And I think that is the key. This wasn't something that people were doing at the time, but it wound up defining that time and definitely defining my moment in that time, so. I love this. This is one of my favorite album covers. This is amazing, kind of very classic shot. I love this. I, I love menswear, first of all, and I love when people try to kind of reinvent you. You know, I was known for kind of like the long, kind of flowy, honey colored hair. Here they kind of like pulled my hair back and made it look dark and made me more masculine. And I really enjoyed kind of that vibe. I actually really like menswear. I fancy myself very masculine at times, wearing jeans and Timberlands and big coats and stuff and baggy clothes. I love that whole vibe, so I was very into this. 
I remember this Vogue cover. This is 2012. I love this. We shot this with Matt Marcus. You know, I'm not a big red lip person, but having the red lip here, they made it look so beautiful. And my hair was a little bit darker at that time. And with the beach in the background, they just really created a, a beautiful image. This was another Versace moment at the Met. And anytime I get to go to the Met with Donatella, I really enjoy it. She's a lot of fun and they're so kind of like generous with creating looks for me. And this was called the dragon dress. As you can see, there's like a dragon. This is the Hustlers poster. I actually really like this. I don't like all my movie posters, but this one I really love. I thought this was perfect. I actually, when I was researching Hustlers, I went to a strip club and I remember this kind of image of this girl kind of standing outside in the cold with a with a big coat and a cigarette. And I was like, well, there's Ramona right there, which was my character in the movie. And I, I said, you know, when we were shooting the scene, I was like, I wanna be in a big fur coat outside with a cigarette. That is definitely the vibe for her. And we use that and it's actually one of my favorite scenes in the movie. This is obviously the Super Bowl, another Versace moment. They dressed me and all of the dancers in my set. They sent me so many beautiful sketches. I had an idea to kind of do a Peter Lindbergh um, inspired look for the girls and with the little, you know, motorcycle hats and the leather and all of that. And I told them I want to do quick changes on stage. I only have only six, seven minutes, but I want to do like three or four different outfits. And they were like, what? And I was like, yeah. And we accomplished it. We did it. And it was amazing. So kudos to Versace. Oh, here's a nice little Chanel moment. This was at the inauguration and we went for a very kind of classic, beautiful look. I was very happy to be there. I was very happy to be Latina and representing Latinos in that moment. This was a really proud moment for me and for my family. They were kind of embracing everything that I wanted to do. It was an amazing, amazing, beautiful moment. This is Ralph Lauren. This was my wedding day. We got married down in Savannah and I wanted it to kind of be traditionally Latin, but also kind of Southern Bellish at the same time. If there's a mix of that, they certainly accomplished it with this dress. It was a beautiful dress. It had a huge long train that was so hard to walk in. It was so heavy. He made me three dresses for my wedding. So I had one for the ceremony, one for the reception, and one for a song that I was gonna sing at the reception. And they were all very classic, but very different and beautiful. This is, I guess, my third Vogue cover. I shot this with Annie Leibovitz, who I love working with, who I find to be a genius. She had a very specific, as she always does, idea about what she wants to shoot and how she wants you to be in the picture and how she wants you to look. And she really creates timeless, perfect images. I mean, the attention to detail that she has is really unmatched. I've never met another photographer like that. And I'm always happy to be in front of her lens. There was like a little box underneath me that I could rest on because my arms would get tired. But as I'm looking at this now, I realize it was a real precursor to the This Is Me Now experience with the red flower. And uh, I would, this would be a perfect cover for right now. It's funny how things like that happen. The Golden Globes this year, uh, this was a Nicole and Felicia, again, entering my hearts and flowers era, my hummingbird era. We had hummingbirds on my ears and flowers here in the pink cape that accompanied this dress. It was perfectly, beautifully tailored by my personal tailor, Anna, who is a genius. We had a lot of options to wear for the Golden Globes, but at the end of the day, this one felt the most kind of stunning and red carpet. This is from the other night at Saturday Night Live. I, this was kind of a thrown together outfit. There was a little jacket, there was a little top, there was these pants. I just kind of liked them all together. I started kind of mismatching things, me and my stylist Rob, we were just like, had different ideas of what we wanted the outfit to be. And then at the end of the day, everything kind of felt a little busy and kind of not like you could really rock with it. And so we decided to go with a very kind of clean look. I really love this. It made me feel real comfortable. I could kick and dance and do all the things that I wanted to do. And, and this was the other song I sang that night. This is when I sang Can't Get Enough. This is when I sang This Is Me Now. 
Here we go. Um, this is one of the album covers for This Is Me Now. Norman Jean Roy shot all the album covers. His photos are very classic. And that's what I wanted with this album. When I think about it being kind of a 20 year project, starting from This Is Me Then to This Is Me Now, um, and how kind of timeless that other picture looks, I wanted that to be This Is Me right in this moment now in the most classic kind of clean way. This Is Me Then was a moment in time that was captured, that was inspired by, you know, falling in love at that time and I never expected to be making a This Is Me Now album. When I got a second chance at that later on in my life, 20 years later, it just really made me inspired to go back in and make music again. I really feel like it was destiny. Thank you so much, Vogue. That was a nice trip down memory lane. My fashion memory lane. Bye.